Hey there, Dark and Darker fans, and welcome back to the channel. I found this article today, even though it was released two days ago. Dark and Darker makes a deal with PUBG publisher Crafton for a mobile release. Crafton said it's keeping an eye on Iron Mace's legal situation, but apparently didn't want to wait to sign a deal for the mobile rights. And that's what this is right now. It's just the rights to make a mobile game in the future. This doesn't guarantee a mobile game will be released for Dark and Darker. However, this really does set up a situation where it could happen. I think Iron Mace has talked about there being a console port for the game. I don't think anyone saw the mobile port coming for the game and I'm kind of concerned at how it would actually work. I don't think it would, I don't think it would play the exact way that it does right now. There's too many inventory items. I think there's too much movement involved. The perk and skill system would work quite well because there's only two skills and your passives make up the rest. So controls would maybe be kind of straightforward, but I can't imagine it would be something that plays against other PC players or console gamers if and when that comes. I think this would be its own standalone game sort of like PUBG mobile so are you guys ready for you know dark and darker 2 before early access has even come out I don't think this is something that I would go for I don't I'm not a mobile gamer but I think there's a large portion of the world that is a mobile gamer fan uh, places in South Asia for example where everyone has cell phones but not everyone has computers there's a large mobile game market. So it sounds like Iron Mace and this Crafton developer are gonna wanna take advantage of these highly saturated mobile markets. And the fact that they chose Dark and Darker to do it, I think speaks volume to the waves that Iron Mace has made with Dark and Darker. And I think that only bodes good things for Iron Mace in the future. Clearly Dark and Darker has made a lot of attention and it's probably making a lot of money, honestly, if Crafton is buying into this. It's not a surprise to me that Crafton's maybe interested after sales for Dark and Darker went live. Possibly Iron Mace is now able to say, hey, look, this is how many people bought this game. This is how many people you as a developer could expect to purchase into the mobile release or they'd probably even get more, honestly, because these markets that are into mobile gaming are massive. But let's see um, let's see if there's anything else to, to look at in here. Crafton has a bunch of mobile games, so you know that seems like a good thing. Iron Mace has partnered with a, a reputable, skilled company. Earlier this month, Nexon's copyright claim in the US was dismissed, so it's not surprising that Crafton is signing now after that was dismissed. It's a small article. Crafton declined to comment on the reasons for acquiring the license, but confirmed that it is aware of the legal situation. So again, it's acquiring the license. Um, they probably had to buy it from Iron Mace, so that's pretty nice. There's going to be more capital in the company for Iron Mace to use to put towards their their own product because I'm imagining that Crafton's actually going to be the one making the game and it would just take influence from the Iron Mace teams. I don't think Iron Mace would actually make the mobile game. It would all be up to Crafton. So it's unlikely you'll be playing Dark and Darker on Steam anytime soon, but on your phone? Well, maybe. A release target for the mobile version has not been announced. I don't know which one will come first, Steam or mobile. I'm hoping Steam. What, what do you think? Would you play Dark and Darker on mobile? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for now. We'll see you guys back in the dungeon.